All right, guys, done this. I love this house. All right, this is the porch. Not bad. Feel a slight inclination here. Usually porches are just extensions of the house though, so if there's anything here, I wouldn't necessarily be too worried about it as far as foundation is concerned. But love the porch. Walk throughout the house. Bones of this house are structurally phenomenal. Um, here's some of the older windows. It's probably where a lot of the lead paint comes in. Um, but very, very spacious home. Wood floors are beautiful. Um, a lot of woodwork, as you see, like with these uh, banisters. This Peter. Hey, Peter. A lot of the woodwork here is uh, original. and It's solid wood. We'll go to the basement in a second. Watching. This is like watching the HGBT, HGBT But it's better because this is the real stuff. It's the yeah. stuff they don't show you. So what I love too though is that it looks like they've got a lot of the original wood windows, which might bring more value to this if we restore it. And then they've got some energy efficient windows on the outside. So all of them may not be replaced, but that'll be a cost savings for us where we don't have to replace all the windows. And yes, we're gonna head down there in a second. Um, there's a basement down here. Looks like they've gutted the kitchen, so that's going to be good for us. It's been trashed out. That's huge. Um, we've got a porch out there. This is the kitchen area. Again, very spacious. You can even put an island in here. You get a double sink with an island in a place like this, where mom can cook and have her kids in the backyard playing and she can see them. Blow this out. Yeah, as long as that's... Blow this out. Blow this out makes it a big, big room. That's what Peter's talking about, but... You know, as a, as a parent, I love nothing more than be able to come in here, have an island, double sink, and watch my kids and hear them in the backyard playing. Speaking of a backyard, very spacious backyard. We've got a shed back there. And like I said, almost every neighbor here has a boat. Boats are expensive. Ballers. This guy over there. Hey, Peter. Oh, there you are. <laughs> you think we got a bad job. Look what he's doing. I know. So again, just when you think you have an asset you can't make money out of, and this guy thinks he can, this is when you need to sober up, okay? Someone took that project on and it's like, I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna make a living, make money off of it too. He's already got a quarter of the house done. He's got the siding going on it, right? So again, it's just about, you know, if you've got the teams to get it done, but uh, I guess I can say I'm happy I'm not taking on that, but I would gladly in this neighborhood. Um, anyway, yeah, so let's go back upstairs and see what we got going on here. We'll start a new video in a second, all right? Want to check the basement out? Yeah. Let's do that. It's very spacious. I mean, depending on how spacious it is, we can actually even do like a man cave down there and add more value. So at this point, all I've seen is more value adds in this than anything. And that's very unusual because a lot of times you get into a house, you see a lot more expenses. Uh, that you need to do just to get to the value you want. This, I see a lot of value adds, meaning if we add it, we're going to get a lot more value out of it. $200,000, here we come. All right, we're going downstairs. 